you're at your favorite cafe, sipping on your latte, and the ideas are flowing faster than the espresso machine. But hold on for a second. What if I told you that there was a way to turbocharge your creativity and boost your brainstorming session? In this video, I'm going to introduce you to an AI tool for content creators, content.ai. This is going to be your wingman for your imagination and going to expand your content creation like never before. So let's say goodbye to the dreaded content block that occurs so many times and let's open endless opportunities. I have been using this tool for a while now, but I'm going to show you how expanded this tool is and we will be working together and I'm going to ask this tool to work on my content. So let's get started. In simpler words, content.ai is your AI assistant to help you create content. And that is across multiple, multiple platforms. This tool comes under the umbrella of a big organic marketing suite where they have other tools, including goals and forms and goals and growth. But I am focusing on content.ai as that is the first step towards any marketing growth. You can sign up for free. So let me go ahead and put my credentials. Before I start explaining the tool, let me show you the pricing plan. There's a free version where you get 2000 word count, 10 AI images. There are live webinars a workspace landing page, Chrome extension, quite a lot in the free version. And then there's this starter pack, which is $99 per month, and you get to do a lot more. Then comes the advanced version, that is $199, and then you have the premium one. So you have around four different plans to choose from. You can definitely start from the free plan and play around and see if this tool is handy for you and if you like it. All right, this is the main page of content.ai. The most amazing part of this tool was the self-guided feature. So if you click on this cute little blue bulb, it is going to highlight one of the portion on the dashboard and it will explain what that means. So the left side is all the list. So we have a dashboard, which you see right now. Then there's a workspace where you can create your folder. So I created one, which is content station, and I'm going to have my projects here for my content. Then there are templates. I think it's amazing how they have done it. You can start by choosing the work you want to do. For me, I want to work on videos. So I click video and I will get all these templates prepared for me. If I want to create a video on TikTok, or YouTube and then I have further options on titles and topic ideas and so on and we will be working on that shortly. You can also get help in writing Facebook ads or Google ads then if you want help in marketing it will also create a LinkedIn post. Let's move further to the next option which is blog wizard. I like that they have shown how blog wizard is a high word consuming feature because there is this word count that we have. The next feature is the keyword idea and here what you can do is enter a keyword like productivity and I'm going to choose a country. I'm going to stick to US right now. Then regions, don't care. City, I don't care. Language would be English and I click search. So here is the keywords that I can use and it's showing me how the competition is for those keywords. What's the competition index? Then comes the landing page. This is a more elaborative form. So if you get stuck anywhere, you can use the blue bulb and it will keep on guiding you. Here in the landing page, I can see that I can write my company name and description here. What comes next is the sections that I can choose whatever content I want to create. Next, generate content and it will start generating content for me. On the right side is all about the content. Then comes the summarizer where we can paste the content here or upload it. We have thousand word limit and then we can also choose what what length of summary do we want? Let's say somewhere in the middle. And then we click summarizer and it will start summarizing here. There is document, playground, I'm not gonna get into detail with that, but another fun feature is the image generator. This tool is also going to generate AI images for you. You can either click on surprise me where it will just randomly give you some fun images or you can have your own input and be very specific to what kind of image you want. So this was a very quick, very quick overview of this AI tool. I was thinking how I can give you the best tour of this tool. So I am going to ask content AI to give me ideas on my next YouTube videos, show me what titles I can use and also script the video for me. So let's see if this tool can do it. I'm excited. I'm going to start by going to templates and then here we have video. I am going to start from the very beginning. So I want content.ai to tell me some topics that I can work on. So first we are going to go ahead and click video topic ideas. So create a new target audience, college students and young professionals. Choose work for both. Uh, next, create workspace. So let's say YouTube content. Name of the project. Okay, so YouTube topic ideas. 
create. All right, it says write a prompt. So I'm gonna say, give me six video topic ideas on studying effectively, time management, study tools, and personal development. Tune, I want it to be casual because I would rather interact with my audience in a more casual manner. My language is English. Generate content. All right, the right side is loading. There we are. Content.ai has given me six topics. Next thing what I'll do is I'm going to copy these and I work on my YouTube videos using the app Notion. So I'm going to transfer this information in Notion and put it in one of my Notion pages where I have highlighted this as content.ai. You can edit this. It will become just like a normal text page. We can also download it as a PDF or a doc and we can save it as Google Doc or a project. Now I have six ideas. I'm going to choose one of these topics and ask this product to help me with the video script. Let's go ahead with the first one. Before moving on, I want to go back and see how my workspace is looking. So this is the one I created, YouTube content. And if I click on it, here it is, video topic ideas. If I click this one, I have this as a save project. I'm going to go back to templates and I'm going to click choose and I'm going to go back to videos. And now I want my script. In a YouTube video script, there are two to three parts. The first one is the hook, which is the first 30 seconds where you grab the attention of the audience. And I'm so glad to see this. So that's my next step. YouTube content is my workspace. Next, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to paste the topic that I have selected for my next video, which is study hacks. I have pasted my video topic and now I'm going to write my prompt. And then I'm going to just erase this. Since this is a hook and intro, I do not want it professional. So let's see what other options do we have. Funny, casual, excited, dramatic. Let's go ahead and try dramatic. I like that the result has scripted form where it's starting from the title. There's attention to detail where even the background music is also mentioned. One thing that I have experienced is that all these tools that are there, they should be able to boost your creativity. And I think this is what I want to see here in this product as well. If this is giving me a paragraph, that paragraph will have some information that will help me think about three more new ways of writing content and eventually with my generated ideas and with the content that is provided, I'm going to merge and come up with something that's original. That is the beauty of having AI. Again, I can edit this here and then later save it, or I can just copy it and then paste it to any other tool that you are using in my Notion app. And let's also save it as the project because it will go back to my workspace and will be saved there. Next is the video description. So let's go ahead, click choose. And now I'm going to have the YouTube video description, effective study techniques. Now I can write the prompt of the whole description. So what I really want is, and let's go ahead and make it casual. So what I'm expecting here is to be at least five bullet points where each bullet point will mention some study technique. All right, if I just skim through it, I can see that it's mentioned study routine and then spaced repetition, which I already know is a very good study technique. Then I can see the word refinement technique and Pomodoro technique. And it has ended well in terms of showing that not one size fits all. I like that part. Also see how this content is modified with respect to the YouTube content because it's mentioning about the subscription and bell button which usually YouTubers say don't forget to like and subscribe and so on. Now if we see here this is not the description that I was expecting because A it's not lengthy enough for a video because I think this would be spoken within a minute or so and then you're done. I was expecting detail of each technique. What should I do now? The recipe to a better AI content is a better prompt and you can see that I wrote a very basic prompt so to get the desired results where I expect five bullet points I'm actually going to rephrase my prompt and be more specific and more elaborative and then we see if my tool is going to help me give the content the way I want it. All right, there we go. Now I have five bullet points and I'm pretty happy with how this has improved from the previous description that they showed me. Copying and pasting it to my Notion. This is a good example where I've shown you how making the prompt more specific will actually improve your result. I have the topic ideas, I have done the hook and intro, and I have also done the description. Next is to get a very attractive video title. What I'm going to do is use their option of creating 
interesting titles and i'm going to see if they come up with something that's more attractive than what they have mentioned in the other options for the title i think i'm going to check what i get if i choose the tone witty okay so i didn't mention how many title samples do i want so by default it has given me 10 options uh let's go ahead and read some cracking the code study techniques that will make you a genius but i do want to try one more thing and that is to change the tone and see how my wordings will change so let's go ahead and do excited okay let's do one thing let's go ahead and compare the difference in wordings based on the tone that i have changed so this is the one that we have for excited and i'm going to open my notion page to show the one where the tone was witty i see the words like brainiac boot camp in witty and on the excited section i see ignite your learning journey so i think i'm really impressed with how this is turning out and the wordplay is amazing i can just have a game out of it because i'm going to keep on changing the tones and then keep on coming up with newer form of content and this thing i've shown you in titles but you can do it in description you can also change it in hooks and intro and so on so whatever content i created right now i'm actually going to work on this video and i'm going to post it and i'm going to show you how it turned out to be before i finish this i want to try one more thing so let's go ahead to image generator and what i want is for this tool to help me with some video thumbnail ideas so let's go ahead and say studying in a library so maximum number of images that i can select is four i'm thinking the third one or the fourth one could be good thumbnails where i can photograph myself in such kind. I hope this walkthrough was fun and exciting. I really recommend you to try the product because it's so wholesome. It has so many features that we can play around with. Next, I will be using content.ai for e-commerce. So check that out in my next video. Until my next one, bye.